back in Android 5.0 Lollipop, Google introduced a feature that was known internally as heads up notifications. What this is, is whenever you receive a notification, instead of it scrolling in ticker style across the status bar, a notification card would come in from the top, sit there for a few seconds, and then go away unless you manually swiped it away. If you're unclear about what this looks like, there's a test notification. It just comes in, sits there a few seconds, and then it goes away. Now, a lot of people do like this. Personally, I enjoy it, but it can be annoying for others. If you're one of the ones who do not like this feature, then you'll be happy to hear that you can disable it by diving into the settings. So to disable these heads up notification preview cards, we're going to launch the settings app. Then we're going to dive into the notification section. Now this place will just disable notifications entirely and we don't want that so we're going to have to tap the advanced button up here at the top. And then we're going to get another similar list to what we just saw which just lists all of our installed applications. So say we didn't want to receive heads up notifications for Google Drive. We're going to scroll down, we're going to locate and tap on the Drive application. And then we're going to see, instead of it being called heads up notifications, Samsung calls the feature previews and pop-ups. This feature is on by default for all applications that receive notifications that you'll need. So you just have to disable that. Now sadly, Samsung and even Google doesn't, has a, doesn't have a way to disable it system-wide. There was a way to get rid of it system-wide in Lollipop but Google has taken applications and their permissions way more granularly in Lollipop specifically but then again in Marshmallow so if you want to do this for multiple applications you're going to need to go through this list and disable that feature for every application you don't want to see them for. Now there's a lot of applications installed on here so doing it for every single application would take a lot of time. So it might just be best to monitor which applications are sending you the most notifications and then just go through here and pick out the ones that you noticed and then disable those heads up notifications for each of them.